So I finally released a signature exclusive plugin and you can go download it for free, link in the description. Well, actually Dom McSweeney did all the hard work, he did all the coding, I simply did the graphics for it. He also got a lot of help from Matthias of Shameless Plugs and I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong. I named it Bratwurst because it's a big meaty monster that will grind up your tone and shove it into a sausage casing and it's gonna be delicious, hot off the grill. So that's the inspiration, meat tone. It's quite a versatile fuzz or distortion effect that works well on guitars, basses, and I haven't tried it, but I would imagine it could do some cool stuff on vocals, drums, synthesizers, you name it. So what exactly is it and how does it work under the hood? Well, I don't know much about plug-in coding or really anything, I've never made one, but I have an official statement here from Dom himself. It is very similar in functionality to an op-amp circuit with two clipping diodes in soft clipping mode and a simple passive high roll-off after that as a tone control. The amount of gain going into it will cause quite a difference in behavior, so the more gain, the more out of control it gets and causes the distortion to get fuzzy. Which makes it sound a little bit like a rat pedal, and perhaps it is, but it also has a lot of gain on tap, and when you really push the drive, you can get quite a nice fuzz on it. Whether or not it's 100% authentic to an analog fuzz circuit doesn't exactly matter. It definitely has a nice fuzzy character, and uh, I like it, so let's check it out. So let's go over the controls because it's very complicated, obviously. We have a gain knob here that goes from low up to high. We have a tone knob that also works the same way, and we have a volume knob. And then we have a bypass switch, or a power switch, depending on how you like to think of it. And uh, all that is enclosed in this beautiful, uh, rusty, meaty, spacey kind of look. It's kind of urban decay meets floor of a dirty old meat factory. Uh, we have these kind of grungy knobs that are cool. And uh, there's a little arrow up here that lets you shrink it real quick. And we have an arrow down here for free resizing any size you want up to however big you want it, which is great. It's one of my favorite features in any plugin. And a lot of older ones don't have that. But thankfully, most modern plugins do have that option. You can also click on the paint splat here to go to the home page where you can find updates and demos and everything you might want to know about this pedal. So first, here's my clean tone, and I'll play the bridge pickup, the middle position, and then the neck pickup just so we cover all the bases because I want to see uh, you know where this fuzz sounds best. So we might flip around the pickups a bit. <laughs> I often like to run my fuzz into a clean amp or only a lightly overdriven amp, so I want something pretty clean just so you can hear uh, the gain of the bratwurst and not the amp. So let's start with the gain lower and we'll set the others to noon for now. At zero gain, it makes no sound at all. Thank you. 
So I really like that it goes to crazy gain levels without even having an input gain control. And that's something I really like in Fuzz. I like that it can get completely out of control, completely oversaturated. To me, it almost has a character a little bit similar to the Fuzz Bender, which I really like. And this is like a Tone Bender style or a Fuzz Face style circuit that just has crazy amounts of gain and some extra EQ. See, so yeah, I really like how thick it gets. It definitely does the fuzz thing and it really does get quite wild and hairy and out of control, but it can also do, you know, much more milder tones, more overdriven stuff or add a little bit of crunch. It is a good sort of saturation plugin because you can go from quite mild to a lot and just see how stuff sounds, get an idea. It's quick and easy to dial in. Um, the tone knob, I like that it's a high pass filter and not like a Big Muff style tilt shelf EQ, I think is what it is. It's not my favorite kind of tone knob. This one is more like a rat, uh, though it is in the reverse of a rat. It's like a traditional tone knob rather than the rat filter, which is just a reverse tone knob that does the same thing regardless. So I really like it. Um, let's do a little more jamming and see what happens. <laughs> Also enjoy the neck pickup on fuzz more than if I'm dialing in a high gain metal tone, then I pretty much only use the bridge pickup unless I'm playing a lead and then I'll switch to the neck. But for fuzz, I think the rhythm tone, all the tones can sound really great on neck pickup. Uh, what about single coils? I have a coil split here. So let's uh, start with the neck pickup single coil. And it might be a little noisy, but I do have a noise gate on. <laughs> Another cool thing about this is that the really high gain settings, it has this kind of underbiased cutting out gatey kind of thing. I don't think it was intentional, but I really like it. And so maybe one day in another version uh, or another fuzz, we can have an actual bias control because I think they're fun to play with, especially on some lead stuff. If you just want to get weird with it, which is like the whole point of fuzz, I think you got to just get weird sometimes. And uh that's a great thing. So I like this kind of choppy, under biasy kind of sound. If we really crank the gain up, let's try to get some cool stuff going. <laughs> Let's just double check that's not the noise gate. 
Yeah, so it does that either way. Uh, it's not the noise gate. And you hear how it's kind of cutting out there. Uh, I, I like that. You might think it's a, a problem, a fault. in a, But a lot of fuzz pedals do that, and it's often desirable. It's that low battery sag. Uh, a lot of them have a bias control. Again, fuzz bender, great pedal, has a bias control. One of the ones I built has a bias control. It's pretty cool. Though The one thing on an analog fuzz, when you under bias it, it will do that sputtery thing, but it won't. Um, it cuts out a lot of the gain and a lot of the thickness. So this doesn't really affect the tone, but it still gives you that sputtery sound, which is actually quite cool. And I don't know if it's possible in an analog pedal. I've never seen it. So I like that. So I hope it doesn't get removed in the future. <laughs> I'm just really having a lot of fun with this. I think it's an awesome pedal for free. There's really not a lot of good fuzz plugins, in my opinion, and the ones I do like are paid. So this is a really cool thing. I'm happy to have been a part of the project, and I get to look at my beautiful design art direction in what is maybe my favorite fuzz plugin, and that, that is high praise except there's only a couple others I like. Let's see how it sounds on the bass guitar.
that's about where I would probably run this for bass. I might turn down the tone knob a little bit if it's too bright, but I kind of like the clank in there, especially for metal. <laughs> enjoyed this demo and i hope you go download the bratwurst fuzz link in the description it is free try it out have fun with it hopefully make some cool music you can come share the tunes on my discord if you make anything with it and uh, as always like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video Meat tone.